Now it was this same Herod who had sent to have John arrested, and had had him chained up in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife whom he had married. For John had told Herod, It is against the law for you to have your brother's wife. As for Herodias, she was furious with him and wanted to kill him, but she was not able to do so. Because Herod was in awe of John, knowing him to be a good and upright man, and gave him his protection. When he had heard him speak he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. An opportunity came on Herod's birthday when he gave a banquet for the nobles of his court, for his army officers and for the leading figures in Galilee. When the daughter of this same Herodias came in and danced, she delighted Herod and his guests, so the king said to the girl, Ask me anything you like and I will give it you. And he swore her an oath, I will give you anything you ask, even half my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl at once rushed back to the king and made her request, I want you to give me John the Baptist's head, immediately, on a dish. The king was deeply distressed but, thinking of the oaths he had sworn and of his guests, he was reluctant to break his word to her. At once the king sent one of the bodyguard with orders to bring John's head. The man went off and beheaded him in the prison, then he brought the head on a dish and gave it to the girl, and the girl gave it to her mother. When John's disciples heard about this, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb, 